Hello again, everybody. Welcome to this tutorial uh, series of video screencasts on the Reaper product from the Cocos Corporation. Right now, we're going to be looking at track routing and the track routing window and associated features in Reaper. Right now, I've got a product, uh, excuse me, a project up here. This is a demonstration project that comes with the product. And what we're going to do is we're going to expose the track routing window. And the way we do this is on any particular track, we'll just do this with the track number one, we will click the I.O. button. It's this green button that all tracks have. So let's go ahead and do that. You also notice too that the I.O. buttons are present for all views of tracks, whether they're in mixer view or other view as well. Let's hide this too. Um, but let's click the uh, track routing for the guitar body track, which is track one. The uh, first thing we see is this checkbox for master parent send and this is what this is doing here if you click this and make sure it's checked that ensures that the tracks output will be directed to the master and here's the master the master is the conceptual uh, stage inside the digital audio workstation that is closest to the sound hardware to the main output of the sound hardware it's where the summing is going on and that is 99 percent of the time where you want to send your tracks um, so you want to make sure that uh, that is checked uh, largely all mainly all the time next uh, section here that we see is sends and sends can be seen here um, we're not going to be using them but let's just show we're not going to be using these in these uh, using sends in this demo but let's take a look at what happens when you actually uh, create a send um, Oh, actually, there's one in here already. Let's let's <laughs> let's delete it and uh, show how to add a new send. We can send the uh, audio in the guitar body track to the guitar neck track, and we can do this by simply selecting the destination channel uh, or track in the uh, drop-down menu, and then we have an exposure of all of the uh, slider uh, and faders that you would need to actually. Uh, get the audio into that track and at what particular point you want it. You can have it at post uh, fader, that is after the panning and before the effects, or you can have it after the effects, or you can have it before the effects but post fader. So there's a bunch of choices there, but we're just going to delete that and continue taking a look at what the track routing features are all about. The audio hardware outputs are located here and this is in addition to or instead of directing output uh, to your master bus you can also direct output of any track directly to hardware outputs on your audio device so there are situations of course where you might want to send a uh, you want to send a track to a monitor channel or you want to send your track uh, off board or offshore if you will uh, from where your uh, computer is running uh, here is where you can select this. If your audio device has multiple outputs, this can be useful for creating oh, different mixes or a series of separate headphone mixes. We also have MIDI hardware output here, and you would use this option to direct MIDI output uh, to an external device or to uh, Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth. Uh, we don't have uh, any uh, MIDI connected to this uh, machine at this time. We also have receives, and receives um, for the time being, we're not going to be using these, but the, you can imagine how they work in the, in the context of learning about sends. You can receive on this track the guitar. It basically, a receive is a send in reverse. You can tell the track to receive the guitar neck track. And here is, again, uh, just very similarly to what we saw over in the sends, we saw an exposure of uh, track controls, um, where exactly the receive is supposed to appear in the track, and uh, 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 solo and uh, arming uh, buttons as well. So that is a quick overview of the track routing features in Reaper. Keep your eyes on GearWire.com in the future for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.